Hi, it's me again with Crow Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody said to me this, it's like an airbrush look and you want to know how you could create something like this. I don't really know, uh, but I'm going to play around with it. I am going to go in and make these letters red and I'm going to... Um, Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my nudge factor to something like, let's see how big this thing is. Uh, almost three. So let's make it like a 0.125 big. And then I'm going to make a duplicate and move it down. And I'm going to make that one a blue. But then I'm going to go to object order back a page. And you see you get one of those layers. Now they're fuzzy. And we might fuzzy it up there in a second. And there's actually like a white. So let's do, a, let's take the blue again and let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.05. And let's make a duplicate of that and move it up and change that to white. So now you have like two different layers of this. Now I would pick a better font. I just picked a font that I could play with. <clears throat> and then, you know, the stuff's kind of fuzzy and uh, the star might be a little bit tricky, but we're going to take the red. And if you see, I've got red selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to object and break it apart. So I'm just doing one letter at a time. I'm going to try the interactive field tool and I'm going to put a blue down here. I missed my mark. Whenever you, whenever you miss the mark, it puts it everywhere. Well, there we go. And then move this way down and maybe put a little bit of, put red back in there. So that's going to give you kind of that blue look at the bottom. Now we can fuzzy it up in a second. We're going to add another blue. I'm not going to do this entire thing, uh, but maybe I'll just give them a few pointers how he could get it to work. It does kind of look fuzzy already because of that. Now we're going to take and let's just, this would be a good artistic media tool. So let's take a um, three point curve line and just put a little bit of curve to this. And then we can always, of course I draw in red so we can't see it, make it black. Go ahead and take the shape tool and put it down here. And then we're going to grab the artistic media tool and click on that line. And I need to back up. I'm on the wrong. Um, click on our line. Well, we gotta got to get our, um, I can't remember which there we go. We need this one. And we're going to use one that has a kind of like that. Click on it. Now we get to make it a little bit bigger. Of course, we did it upside down. But we can fix that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go up to object and break the artistic media apart and get rid of that line. We're going to go ahead and uh, don't worry about that. We can fix that. Um, let's just rotate it. We want that thickness down there. Now what we can, and I actually should have made a little bit thicker, but you've got it selected. Go to effects, blur, and Gaussian blur. And I blurred it so much it went away. And of course, I should have made a little bit thicker, but that gives you that kind of a look. Of course, I should have made it bigger and thicker, uh, but it does look like an airbrush look. And the whole thing's kind of completely different than what I'm doing, but you can always go back to the artistic media tool and you know change some things and move some things around to get your different looks. Uh, the star, I've never really had good luck with uh, doing stars, but we could try it. We're going to take a, let's take the polygon tool, set it on 
52 points. And we have 52 little nodules there. And we're going to kind of do that. Now, now just stay with me here for a second. Now, if we break it into a curve, go to object and convert it to a curve, then we can move individual lines out. Um, and I think it's going to kind of look like a star once we uh, put white in it and blur it up. I'm not doing, a, I'm not taking a lot of time um, to do this, as you can tell. Let's take our Smart Fill tool and set it on white. And then I would strongly uh, get rid of the red just by hitting delete and put that back. Let's see what it looks like now if we fuzzy it up. So go to effect, blur, and Gaussian blur. And we blurred it too much. That doesn't look half bad. I maybe would have started, you know what, let's do this. Let's start with a smaller center and make our star protrude further. And once again, I you know, if I was doing this for real, I would maybe take more time and because I think the blur is going to, you would probably need to do a lot of them and maybe even double up some of them. Let's see how that looks. I've kind of messed that up a little bit, but go to, go to effects, blur, Gussian blur. That doesn't look half bad. Of course, now it's probably make it bigger. Um, other than that, these other parts are just, um, and I just noticed there's really a, that black is a, that blue is a black. So we can take that right there. You can, I've got the outline selected. Just take away the outline. Whoop, I didn't want to do that. I got rid of my white. That's one thing nice about um, grabbing. There's the blue. Let's make it black. There we go. That does make a difference. And then ones like, you know, these are just artistic media tools. That's just a, a round star with clicks on it. Uh, you know, the other part, let's group this together for a second. I'm not doing a great job on this. I'm, I haven't had any. Um, you know what, let's, let's try, uh, just a two point line and use a, um, artistic media tool and put it there. And then you always got to go up. I'm going to make this quite a bit thicker. Of course, we're going to put it in the back of the page in a second and we're going to go ahead and You've always got to take the object, break the artistic media room apart. That that fake line is going to be in there somewhere. Hold down the Alt key and you can select it, delete it, put it here. Go ahead and go to object, order back a page and put it back there. And now let's try, of course, it's a really a straight line. Um, we could probably try, you know, curving a little bit and uh, doing more with it. You don't want to do that. Um, well, just, I'm gonna go with this and just go to object. You know what? Let's see what color. We're really kind of like one an orange. And let's make it that orange. Let's blur it up just a little bit. Not too much. Gussian blur. Just a little bit of blur. Maybe a little bit more. Say okay. Now let's put on a, like the same color of this t-shirt. Uh, 
like that, back a page. And when we take that slightly blur and go to the transfer, trans, uh, transparency tool and make it a little bit transparent, and you can really play with that, maybe even blur it more. That's one thing nice about it. You can always go back. Kind of looks like a airbrush. Of course, I would break it up and, uh, you know, the same thing with the blues and the, you know, this is done just like the letters. Um, you know, the stars. Uh, I would actually take a circle. You know what? Let's do this. Let's take a circle. Control, let's make it a 1.5 inches. And then let's take a, like a 20, uh, just a, like a eight sided polygon and, and make it 1.5. And then put these two together by selecting them both and going EC. And then the reason I want that circle, I'm going to show you in a second, because now I can grab my, Pentagon and move it outward. Well, tell you what, let's nudge this thing over like one inch. Of course, I've never done this before, but we're going to try. And then you could always bring, you might have, to, I'm going to have to convert it to a curve. And what we're going to do, we're going to round some corners here in a second. Because I think these things are kind of rounded corners. Let's look back at the original. Yeah. Oh, they're all kinds of different shapes. So let's take this and go. Sorry about that. I don't know why. What I hit sometimes. Let's take this. Grab it with the shape tool and let's go to windows, dockers, corners, which I already had open, so I'm going to have to reopen it. Windows, dockers, corners, and let's just round it off. Well, not an inch, but like 0.15 or 0 0.5. And well, I'm going to do the whole thing. So we got kind of rounded corners. So what we can do now is nudge that back. Let's kind of put our circle in the circle in the center. Let's uh let's try a couple of things, and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. There you go, and I should have made them some of these longer. Um maybe that would even be the way to start. And um uh, now, I don't know if they're blurry or what. Uh, let's try to mimic that blue one. So take your Smart Fill tool, set on a blue, and they are blurry because the... Um, so what you want to do is always put it to the back of the page. Now, if we put it to the back of the page, it's going to be behind the gray. So we need to take the gray and put it to the back of the page. Now we can take this shape and, you know, the only way I can think about an airbrush would be a little bit uh, fuzzy. Look. And you could even, maybe even, you know, if you darken that up and you could play around with it because this thing actually has some lobes on it. And then it looks like there's another blue tint underneath it. Uh, I'm quite big on that anyway and then this is the same thing I want to stop but I just can't stop um, you know there's just a and if I can think of another way to blur that up and there's something in the way um, if you see only smart field that so far you know, let's look at under wireframe real quick see there's a there's a, a box there uh, from the um, 
when you when you do um, well, when you do a uh, blurriness, it's actually making it to a bitmap. Take away the outline. Go ahead and go to Gussie and blur again. I'm going to try some, you know, there's different kind of blurs you can feather. And I don't think I took away the outline. That looks pretty good. That looks like a one of these right here. Of course, it's darker. This would be a fun project, and what it would be neat about who's doing this for some seniors, it would be yours. You know, you're you're getting the idea, but you don't have to. And of course, you know, you'd probably want to slant the letters or pick a better font. Um, you know, I don't. I don't think you could copy the attribute to each letter, but you can. So that kind of gives you that look. And then just do the same thing with some of these lines. Anyway, I hope that gave him some ideas and I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.